totalitarianism. This is a form of government that is theoretically permits no individual freedom that seeks to subordinate all aspects of individual life in or to the authority of the state. Totalitarian leaders like Mussolini termed it totalitario to characterize the new fascist state of Italy, which he further described as all within the state and none outside the state, none against the state. By the outbreak of World War II, totalitarianism had become synonymous to absolute and oppressive single party government or leadership. Modern examples of totalitarian states include Russia under Stalin, Germany under Hitler, China under Mao Zedong, and North Korea under the Kim dynasty. In the broader sense, totalitarian governments are characterized by strong central rule that attempts to control and direct all aspects of individual life through coercion and repression. Popular totalitarianism also developed in which the state achieved overwhelming popular support for its leadership depending on the charismatic leader. This was made possible only by modern communication technologies that were used at the time and the transportation. Totalitarianism is often distinguished from dictatorship, despotism, or tyranny by its supplanting of all political institutions with new ones and its sweeping away of all legal, social, and political traditions of a state. The totalitarian state pursues some special goals, such as industrialization or conquest to the exclusion of other aspects of life. All resources are directed to the, to the achievement of this special goal, regardless of the cost that it will have on the state. Whatever might further, the goal is supported and whatever may foil, the goal is rejected. The obsession for the goal develops into an ideology which explains everything in terms of what the specific goals, rationalizing all obstacles that may arise and all forces that may contend with the state. The resulting popularity gives the state the leeway to any form of action or government. Any dissenting voice is branded evil and the internal political differences are not permitted. Even when the goal is achieved, it is never acknowledged so that the people continue to believe in the goal and work towards it. Under such leadership, traditional social organizations are discouraged and suppressed. The social fabric is weakened and the people are absorbed into a single unified movement or party. They encourage mass conformity, while diversity is discouraged. What we call troop behavior, where once something is said, everybody aligns to that idea and supports it without asking questions. Large-scale and organized violence was permissible, justified by the commitment to the state ideology and pursuit of the state goals. Those to be eliminated were generally labeled as enemies of the state, and public opinion was aroused against them, justifying the brutality that ensued. These people were sometimes made to confess openly to crimes that they had not committed. The police sometimes operated out of the dictates of the law, the role of the lawmaker is invested in an individual who can change, modify, or annul it the way he deems necessary. Lastly, there is total terror and the people live in perpetual fear 
of the unknown.